okay so this is my reference this is the image I was going to use as reference this is the image I'm using for keep the proportion or the scale so I was going to start making a couple of objects right now for example I can start with the basic shape like you can see here the the cannons or maybe the cockpit or, or thing like that so I will start with the cannon I will go in I know this is a cylindrical shape like you can see here it's a cylindrical shape so I create a cylinder and I will go into rotate 90 degrees and this will going to be exactly what I'm going to use so this will the target of this particular product will be a <coughs> sorry for that a, a video game so I have to work uh, as low poly as I can I it, it depends on the workflow you are going to use for example if I will going to create the high poly model and later I will going to bake all this information into a low poly model this will going to uh, to make this process uh, twice a high resolution model and then a low resolution model but this time I will going to mix there are a couple of objects I will going to make a high poly model for example I don't know these particular tubes or, or thing like that and later I will going to bake so right now I will create this uh, not as high poly as as it should or maybe let's get the things right now uh, with a uh, high poly and later I will re reduce it or, or bake it I'm not uh, quite sure exactly which workflow I will going to use okay so right now I have the this cylinder I will continue just cloning this object adjusting the size the radius that like you can see here I'm using a couple of uh, shortcuts to hide the geometry the shortcut is alt x this allow me to hide the geometry so right now this is working with this lego part this particular project is quite uh fun because you can model almost everything from uh basic shapes it's not there are not a a, a lot of of complex shapes there are easy cylindrical on um, square thing like that there are a couple of custom shapes but in most cases you will find that it's replicable with a simple geometrical shapes so I just adjusting the radius and thing like this a uh, good thing you will notice here is that the resolution of the image is not looking quite good this is this could be uh, because two different situations maybe the image in fact is not uh, no, don't, don't have enough resolution or maybe uh, the 3ds max by default is not showing the high resolution it should for example i will go to the plus icon you will find here and configure viewports now like you can see here the texture uh, the texture maps are in five uh, five hundred five hundred uh, 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 pixels so I will going to increase this for example 2k pixels I will set apply okay so like you can see here now the reference have a better resolution is not uh, a lot of improvements but it increased a little bit more yeah so I will continue with this so what I have right now is this particular shape is just a cannon nothing uh, a complex at all I will make these particular uh, details using uh, boolean operations and, and things like that so in a top view I will going to create a box I will can align this particular box pressing shift a it will going to align to my object <coughs> and then I can place this in exactly position I want to use as, as a cut tool right now in the view I have here that there's no way to to see exactly where is the the position I need to cut but right now I think this could be could be the position so right now I have this object I will increase I will increase the the poly count a little bit more maybe to have more round surface remember I will go into at the end 
I will going to reduce this to a low poly version or maybe I will going to create a retopology version and later bake all the information. I will not decide right now, but it's better to have this uh, high poly right now and later reduce it. Okay, so I will create a boolean operation, compound object, pro boolean, and I will going to start picking this. That's all. That's all what I have, like you can see here. This is the first uh, boolean I made. Then I will going to create another box to make the other, like you can see here. This box have a, a rounded edge. This is not completely square, it's, it's quite rounded. So I can do this, for example, using a rectangle. I can create a rectangle and inside the properties of the rectangle, I can adjust the corner radius. Later, I can apply an extrusion. And I will go into place here. And then I will see if there's. Okay, I will place this one here. I will going to adjust. I can just adjust the scale or just adjust the the width of the object. I will adjust the width, something like this. And finally, I'm cloning using the shift key. I will adjust this one to OK. OK, so this is what I have right now. I will unhide all these things. So continue with this. I will start picking, continue making this perforation and then I will select this one and I will going to do exactly the same compound pro boolean start picking and I will select this one okay so like you can see here this is uh, this is not a solid cannon this is a, a, a hole it should have a hole there so I can just copy a particular cylinder I will going to increase the height reduce the radius something like this I will put this object to cross the entire geometry like you can see here and now I will start picking and that's what I have this is my cannon this one I can do exactly the same for this one I will just copy the object increase the height reduce the radius okay and increase the height something like this it will not going to be visible but just to keep the things more more uh, close to the reality be careful to select the right the exactly correct uh, pieces so this is it I will not going to make more detail to this gun because it's in a small part of the vehicle and doesn't require a lot of detail <coughs> okay so continue with the shape that you can see here we have this particular uh, geometries all these details all these other pieces I will going to create them using uh, a mix of, of uh, tool for example this one I will going to use a box something like this now you can see in if we try to compare this one is more the quite less the same width like you can see here the width of this object is quite the same width of this cannon so this will going to be my reference so in a top view this could be almost the same it's not precise but later I will going to load a, a top uh, view I have from the model and I will compare and adjust the, all these things so what I want to do here is I will going to convert this particular object to a uh, editable poly and I will move this a little bit more to have this uh, trapezoidal shape. Okay, this is it. This is all what I need. Other than that, I will going to create a couple of boxes to make the, the Boolean operation. <coughs> okay so this is more or less what I need I will increase the height of the object and I will clone this one 
two, three times. Okay. If you want to uh, to give more detail, you can, for example, like you can see here, we have a a border here, an interior border. So for this particular, I can go to editable poly this object I can go to the face with the face selected I can make an inset for example I can make an inset and then I can extrude a little bit more again to have this particular detail okay so that's it I will going to convert this make a pro boolean and I will going to start picking all these objects and this is what I get is not uh, 100% precise, but it's close enough of what I want. Okay, finally I have to create this other other shape. I will going to load um, another image. Maybe I can find from this particular image I have. Uh, I don't know. I will create a s rectangle again. I will use some snaps to keep more precision. I will enable the snap to be vertex and this is what I will going to do I will do going to create this rectangle why I'm using the rectangle because I can adjust the radius like you can see here so I can create some kind of shape something like this and then I can convert this rectangle to an spline when I'm doing this I can select the the shapes or, or select the vertex and adjust them. I will going to select the vertex and convert to corner and then I can move all these vertices to the exact position I need. I will... There is something, uh, uh, a shortcut Alt D that allow me to restrict the the, the snap movement. So like you can see here I have restrict the snap detection to the uh, Y axis and <coughs> I will going to maybe move this a little bit I will going to fuse them I can fuse them and weld them and this is exactly what I need those vertex I don't need it so this is the shape I want this is more or less what I want I will going to extrude and now in the top view I will going to verify if everything is placed when exactly when I need it I will decrease a little bit the amount okay so this is more or less what I want <coughs> like you can see here 